and exalts your horn. Like what? The horn. Let me stop there. I would have shown you more draft where Satan has somebody and then and God wants to draft you. Eh? When you enter into that neighborhood and you see opposition, you see witches, you should be excited that God is considering you qualified to engage uh, in that act that will extend the frontiers of the kingdom of God. That is a proof that you are anointed. Every anointed man is supposed to govern, supposed to rule. If the territory that you are sent to, the witches are still boasting, your anointing has no value. Anointing has no value. All over in South Africa, the, the power of God began to move during a deliverance service. The witches began to speak in South African language. You are a dead man. You are a dead man. You try us. You try us. You try us. I went to Zimbabwe. In Zimbabwe language, the witches spoke. You are, you are dead. You are even dead now. You are even dead now. I saw that Satan even has faith. He said, even now you are dead. You, you think you are alive, but you are dead. <laughs> Everywhere I went, they say you have died. But I'm still here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't <laughs> you see you, the person doesn't die because you desire him to die you did no he came to rule he didn't come to negotiate he didn't come to negotiate but my horn shall die yes. as you leave this place tonight that battle you fought that you run you you, you ran away you packed you packed from that neighborhood and move to another side. Park back there. Go back. Go back. Normally, if someone that is possessed of demons comes to me and says, that is under the influence of the demons, all right? And the person speaks. I don't take them seriously. But the one that comes, it's not as if you are under the influence. You come. Come to me and you, you will not come back. This one, you agreed to come. It's not as if the anointing hit you, exposed the devil, and the devil began to speak. No, you agreed to come. You will not go back. Have you not seen that when the Holy Spirit left heaven to come into the earth, it came with a mandate, rule down in the midst of your enemies. So if you're anointed with the Holy Spirit and you are not doing any form of rulership, governance, then we have a problem with that. Meanwhile, that's number one. There are six more. You are going to study it. I'm going to stop here so that we can move to practicals. The kingdom of God is not in world. No. No, if all we do is talk, we are not, we are not about talk. You see, politically, they believe we are about talk, so they can do anything and we can't do anything. Not for long. Not for long. A generation that nothing can handle, nothing, nothing can handle, is come, we are coming. Uh. Show, us, show us how bad you are because we are coming. And I tell you, in our time, it will not be so. <laughs> it doesn't matter what spirit is imported from Congo. They imported this one from Gambia. Keep importing. Keep importing. Jesus, Jesus must rule these lands before we bow our head. Oh. Oh. A time will come. Nothing will happen until they come and take permission. Say, okay, this is... I assure you, in the name of Jesus. Then we come and say, this is what we, how do you see this? Say, okay, it's a good idea, but remove this aspect. Yeah. Because if you don't come, you can't implement it. You can't. We were born to rule. We're born to rule. 
The Bible says the earth is the Lord's. The fullness thereof. It means it's our, it's our father's property. Do you understand that? That's why we are interested in Nigeria. It belongs to our father. We are, we, the days where, where Christians were religious, we're all looking to go to heaven. Hey, uh, hey, man. Those days have gone. We want to ensure that our father's estate is protected. His interest is protected. And when our time comes, we'll bow our head with, in glory. Yeah. So we are not in a hurry to go to heaven. Our father's estate is in shambles. And we need to build its walls. It will not always be like this. Don't think the story has ended. A people are coming. An anointed generation is coming. It is concerning them, the Bible says, touch not my anointed ones. He said, do my prophets no harm. We are coming. We are coming. Make all the noise you can make now. But we are coming. Oh, it will not always be like this. Nigeria will fall at the feet of Jesus. I want you to use some of that your anointing in a moment. And concerning this election, can you say, the counsel of darkness will not stand. Say it one more time, the counsel of darkness, it will not stand. Try to manipulate, it will not stand. Money will fail. The anointing you carry is so that you can rule. Samaria must be brought back to order. Jerusalem must be conquered. Judea must be conquered. Galilee must be conquered. Wari must be conquered. Nigeria must be conquered. We were born to rule. His anointing is upon our lives. No weapon fashioned against us shall be able to prosper. Hey! Suvali Saikama. Iso sali ko banteli amahande. Bose si labron de canteli ado. Yabo si abel. Ando lebros kito. Iso sana barados ke. Yado konda babarasi a santelia. You cannot take over Nigeria. Nigeria is the Lord's. Nigeria is the Lord's. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. In this matter, in this matter, you will fail again. On this matter, you will fail again. Oh, God. 
Maria Bahaseli Mande. Sobre escute Baba Babaya. When you are there, 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 when you are there. to govern. <laughs> Dominion is part of our mandate. When wickedness begins to prosper in the land, then the Lord begins to anoint the enemies of Nigeria. You shall scatter. You shall scatter. You shall scatter. You shall scatter. Hey, we uproot everything you have planted. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Next time when you see danger, no retreat, no surrender. We were born to dominate. It is part of our DNA. The dominion mandate was the destination for man from the beginning. We are his workmanship, recreated in Christ Jesus. There is an ordination we carry. His ministry of philanthropy will continue through me. Oh, 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 oh. The Lord is already excited. <laughs> Siama Kalibo said. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Two things I will do. First thing I need to do is an invitation. If you are here tonight and you have not turned your heart to Jesus, you have not yet allowed Jesus to take the center stage of your affairs. You still bask in the euphoria of sin. And you are a slave to the flesh. And somehow you believe the words of the preacher that there was another life other than bondage to sin. And you want to be serious with Jesus tonight and say to him, have mercy on me. Save my soul. If there is anybody under the sound of my voice that is making that decision, you will identify yourself by putting your right hand on your chest and putting your left hand up, inside and outside. Right hand on your chest, 